Alright, suppose I have the fraction 7 divided by x plus 1 plus 5 on x plus 2. I can simplify this expression by combining these fractions together and I can do that by multiplying the two denominators together and then cross multiplying each denominator with the other numerator. So in effect I am giving a common denominator between the two uh, fractions and then combining them. So I'll end up with um, x plus 1 times x plus 2 on the bottom and on the top I shall get uh, 7 outside of x plus 2 plus 5 outside of x plus 1. And then if I was to uh, expand, simplify, I would get uh, 7x plus 14 plus 5x plus 5 divided by x squared plus 2x plus x plus 2. And this would simplify to 12x plus 19 divided by x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay, that is great, but the process of going from this simplified version back to the original two fractions is called partial fraction decomposition. So let me write that down, partial fraction decomposition. And this method is very useful when we want to integrate polynomial fractions. Because the integral of two partial fractions is easier than trying to integrate this whole thing. So how do we get from here to here? Well let's start with a relatively easy example. Let's start with 4x minus 1 divided by x squared plus x minus 2. So we have a division of two polynomials or a polynomial fraction and the polynomial denominator has a degree of 2. And what that means is we have two partial fractions because there are two roots to this denominator. So the very first step is actually to factorize the denominator. So x squared minus x minus 2x, I can actually rewrite as x squared minus x plus 2x minus 2 and the numerator stays the same. And then I can factor out an x, so x outside of x minus 1 and then these two terms I can factor out a 2 get 2 outside of x minus 1 and I'll copy the 4x minus 1 on the top and then I can further factorize to x plus 2 times x minus 1 and I still have the numerator of 4x minus 1 on the top okay so this now I can write as the addition of two partial fractions so 4x minus 1 divided by x plus 2 times x minus 1 is equal to some constant divided by x plus 2 plus another constant b divided by x minus 1. And to find these constants a and b it's actually a matter of doing the very first thing that we did which is to multiply the two denominators together and so multiply here and then cross multiply with the other numerator so this gives me on the bottom x plus 2 times x minus 1 and on the top it gives me a outside of x minus 1 plus b outside of x plus 2. And now I can say that a times x minus 1 
plus b times x plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 1. So I'm just equating the two numerators together. Now we don't have to then expand this through because in my opinion uh, it will be easy if we don't um, but uh, more formally you may have been taught to expand through and we'll do this method as well later on. But for now uh, we note that uh, this is an equality and uh, that means if this equality holds true then all values of x should satisfy this equation. So that means we can just pick convenient values of x to help us solve for uh, a and b. So I'm going to let in the first instance let x is equal to 1 so that means I get a times 1 minus 1 plus b times 1 plus 2 is equal to 4 times 1 minus 1 which is 3 and what this does it actually eliminates a because 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 and I'm left with 3b is equal to 3 and so therefore b must be equal to 1 okay so with b equals 1 our equation becomes a outside of x minus 1 plus x plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 1 and let's choose another convenient uh, value for x to help us solve for a this time let x equals negative 2 so that uh, gives me a times negative 2 minus 1 plus negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 times negative 2 is equal to negative 8 minus 1 gives me negative 9 so this part goes to 0 and I have negative 3a is equal to negative 9 so therefore a is equal to 3 So my original fraction, 4x minus 1 divided by x squared plus x minus 2 becomes 3 divided by x plus 2 plus 1 divided by x minus 1. So the original fraction has been decomposed into two simpler fractions. As I said, let's uh, go with the longer way of solving for a and b. Uh, and you may have been taught this more formally so a outside of x minus 1 plus b outside of x plus 2 is equal to 4x minus 1 and if I expand these through I will get uh, ax minus a plus bx plus 2b is equal to 4x minus 1 and if I combine the x's together I will get a plus b times x and I combine the other two together I get a negative so I get plus negative a plus 2b is equal to 4x minus 1 and this means then that a plus b is equal to 4 and negative a plus 2b is equal to negative 1 so let's uh, set these equations up. Let's uh, call equation 1 a plus b is equal to 4. And this is called the method of equating coefficients and let uh, equation 2 equal to negative a plus 2b is equal to negative 1. And what I then can do is to um, solve these equations simultaneously. So if I add equations 1 and 2 Okay, so a plus negative a is 0, b plus 2b gives me positive 3b, and 4 plus negative 1 gives me 3, and that means then, of course, as we found before, that b is equal to 
1 and then I can substitute b is equal to 1 into equation 1 because that's easier and solve for a so a plus 1 is equal to 4 so that means a is equal to 3. So as you can see either way of finding the constants works and it's a matter of which one you prefer. So this was the first video on how to do partial fraction decomposition. In my next uh, videos I will go on to more complicated examples so uh, stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching, best of luck with your math studies and if you found this video useful please give me a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video.